The man who called 911 says he heard a gunshot inside the home and was going to investigate and then lost contact with 911. To set the scene really quickly, it happened at a home in the area of Southeast Sunset View Road and Southeast Evergreen Highway. That's about two miles east of downtown Washougal. K2's Joe English is live there for us with more on what happened next. Joe, what are you learning? Well, 911 dispatch was able to reconnect with that caller, and Clark County deputies and the Camas and Washougal Police Departments responded to the scene, this home behind us here, and deputies saw one person on the floor, one person slumped over the kitchen counter, and that's when they went inside to try and help out. According to officials, the man and wife were still breathing when responders got inside, and they started giving first aid to both people. The man's identified as Roberto Rossi from Washougal, he's 78 years old, and Carol Rossi from Washougal as well, 73 years old. Now both had gunshot wounds and they were taken to the hospital. Carol Rossi, well, she later died from her injuries. Roberto Rossi is listed in critical condition at this point and the detectives spent Thursday evening inside the house. Doing, um, collecting evidence inside the ha house right now, and then they'll look at and talk into family members to see if, you know, maybe there was something more going on or what the history was here, um, and to try to just paint that picture again of what would create the conditions for something like this to happen, you know, something this tragic. The Clark County Major Crimes Unit is leading the investigation right now. It looks like a murder-suicide attempt, and deputies say there is no threat to the public. Again, one woman is dead, one man in critical condition. Apparently, a husband and wife in a murder-suicide attempt in Washougal. A Washington attorney says 10% of domestic violence cases evolve to a level of assault or a crime where the law can intervene and prosecute. However, Jim Sinescu tells us there are many more cases where people are too embarrassed or too scared to talk about what is happening and end up staying in a bad situation. Absolutely, and then the, the advice for the victim as well as the perpetrator, talk to somebody, talk to a professional, talk to a friend, talk to a neighbor, talk to anyone who you trust about the issues and the feelings that you're having on both sides and that's the best way to identify that there is an issue that hey I'm a, a victim of DV or hey I'm I can't control my emotions and I'm a perpetrator of DV we don't have to put those labels on there but we're all human none of us are perfect we all have issues that we need to work on and talk to someone that's the best advice I would give the Clark County Sheriff's Office says a woman called 911 just after 3 o'clock this afternoon. She said her husband had shot their baby, had shot her, and then shot himself. Investigators are still on the scene out here right now, boarding up the front door. We're trying to find out more information, and we'll get that to you as soon as we can. But we can tell you when deputies arrived at the home at Northwest 152nd Street and Northwest 4th Place in the Salmon Creek neighborhood of Vancouver, they found three people with gunshot wounds. The infant was taken to a local children's hospital, the mother to a different hospital. We're told both are in critical conditions. Deputies say the husband was declared dead at the scene. Now, American Medical Response, Clark County Fire District 6, assisted in the response. The case is it being investigated by both the Clark County Sheriff's Major Crimes Team and the Vancouver Police Major Crimes Team.